Here in New York is the home of the hot dog, the block-long institution that flourishes year-round at Coney Island. It goes by the name Nathan's Famous. For Nathan Handwerger, it was the big plunge into the mainstream of American enterprise. He had the genius, the intelligence, the schmaltz, whatever you want to call it, he had it. Very hot, Frank. There is one Babe Ruth in baseball, there's one Einstein in science, there was one Nathan from the food business. He was a man, you know why he was a man? You didn't have to put nothing on papers. If you said something to him, voyable, it was better than putting your signature on a piece of paper. That's how honorable he was. Mr. Cohen, how many hot dogs do you sell here? Well, roughly, we sell about 75,000 a day. I mean, you had a move. I went to work there one day heavily tripping on LSD. There were tough guys came to Coney Island. Well, Nathan didn't look for friendly people. He looked for people that were like horses who could come in at uh, 10 o'clock and work till 10 o'clock the following night. He would hit you with a hot spatula. He'd jab you with a fork. He says his taste buds is his only mechanism. A gentleman and a scholar. If I was going to the electric chair and they said, what's the last thing you want to eat? It would be a Nathan's hot dog. <laughs> so listen, Nathan's Coney Island, all right?